Good Gospel Day to you and yours. You're locked in to the great inspirational programming on the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show. New music on the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show. Just like home Peace lives there Joy's everywhere You don't have to wait You can come today There's no
You're listening to the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show with your lady, your gospel master blaster for the master. New music on the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show. All love. 
smile, to smile. And everybody say, oh, yeah. why do you keep praying? Things ain't changed for you in quite a while. Wow. When I think of all the stuff I had to go through, just so I could be here today. My Lord. It always reminds me, go ahead and be thankful, cause I know my blessings are Cause my blessings on the way, yeah. They said I'm gonna make it, uh -huh. but they said it couldn't be done. But every time they, they see me, they, they say they go down. down. Sunday morning to you and yours and certainly hope you are enjoying the program today Sunday July 1st 2018 also in remembrance of our mom the late great Mrs. Flossie Jane Ingram Highland ah yes and we look to see you real soon one day mommy amen and our father who passed away many many years ago and mother of course uh back in uh, uh, 2010 and dad back in 1986 of course his birthday July 21st and uh, you know God has been so good to all of us we have so much to be thankful for we have an aunt our dad's sister uh, Aunt Mary Highland Gibson in Jersey City New Jersey her birthday earlier in uh, June and celebrating her birthday of a hundred and nine years old how about that yes that is the truth the last living in that family of the Highland family out of Clio South Carolina to you you and you we have a lot of bereaved and grieved uh, families in the Southern Pines and Moore County area at large my uh, hometown area I'm in the Sand Hills of North Carolina and another area of the Sand Hills and I do a lot still in Moore County and partially also in Lee County and of course as always just here to be able to give you some cheer and some inspiration and encouragement a lot of uh, tragedies have happened of late in the Southern Pines Aberdeen area of uh, North Carolina and that said not calling any last names I may leave out someone so all of the, the young people who 
that passed away tragically to your parents, the parents who are yet living, grandparents, siblings, and if they had children, everybody involved. Uh, we're praying and lifting you up so much. And with all our love and sympathies, amen, and to God be the glory. As always, I'm your lady, gospel DJ. <laughs> Yeah, they lady, your gospel master blaster for the master, DJ. And speaking of DJs, Carlos G, uh, wonderful DJ for many years, over, I guess, what, about a 40-year period since he was a very young man, uh, is calling all DJs and concerned citizens for a Stop the Violence rally out at the Clay Hole Pool Park in Southern Pines on the west side. Uh, Southern Pines, North Carolina, on Sunday, July 1st, 3 until 6 p.m. If you go out there, tell Carlos G. that I sent you out there. You heard about it on the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show. I hope to be able to get out there after church for a little bit. If I can, if I can make it, I certainly hope to do that. Also, coming up uh, the end of September, if I'm not mistaken, that is September 29th, the last of September uh, our dear friend and colleague, yes, Pastor Gentry Winfield, will be having once again, it's been a few years, the prayer march and the prayer walk, the prayer in the streets on Gain Street on the west side of Southern Pines, North Carolina. Again, that's coming up uh, September the 29th. It's probably going to be at about the 4 o'clock hour, but stay tuned for more information about that. If you're on Facebook, you can certainly look at my community announcements and career information page open to all to read for things that are coming up in the Moore County area that are positive things for our youth and adults, for the unemployed, those needing jobs, church programs and programs for youth and things that are either no cost or low cost and very positive. Thank you for that. Shout out to all of my classmates in uh, Radio Land. Uh, you know who you are. I love you so dearly. Uh, classmates and those who are my schoolmates a little bit behind me in school coming up and a little bit ahead of me in school all my family god bless you my niece uh tori highland caskey celebrated her 20th birthday on june the 30th amen to god be the glory all right uh, at the beginning of the hour we have been featuring some new music this is new music day on the rose highland sharp gospel show we heard uh kicking the uh, program off oh my goodness it is give it up give it all for you uh that was cheryl fortune uh released 2018 and i got you ruth laantra originally from aberdeen north carolina our little home girl we love her so much her parents of course uh, ruth jones and Bishop Arvetra Jones Jr., God bless you. We love you guys so much. Amen. And I got the victory, the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Yes, Jesus on my side, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy releases 2018. So got lots of good music coming out here this spring. Some of these things, uh, I know uh, these releases recorded in 2017, but released this spring and summer. Amen, 2018. All right. For less conversation and more inspiration, by the way, weather forecast looks pretty good. It's just going to be hot, folks. It's going to be a high of 94, a low of 74, and a, about a 40% chance of rain, mostly in the evening on the Sunday, July uh, the 1st. And if you're in the Sand Hills area of North Carolina and most of the Piedmont of North Carolina, that's your forecast for today. Amen. All right, so you're going to be listening to a ministry preaching program, which I do at um, for the sick and the shut-ins uh, at a particular facility. And uh, it's about 15 minutes long. It may be a tad shorter. So this is one of my programs today with the music and the word and prayer. That's about a 30-minute show or maybe no more than 40 minutes. Okay, so it's relax. Enjoy and listen for the word of the Lord and the message today. Don't Put in the sugar if you're holding on to sin from the book of Joshua, the sixth chapter, verse, verse rather 20, Joshua 6 and 20. Scripture Kate program held recently at a church in Carthage, North Carolina. You're really going to enjoy it. Amen. Amen. You're listening to the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show with your lady, gospel master blaster for the master. Hallelujah. 
My message today will be brief. Had an opportunity to do it yesterday for the, uh, they call it the spiritual cake program. It's a fundraiser. So who knows how to make a cake and make it well? Oh, wow. Oh, well, wonderful. What, what kind of cake do you bake, madam? What's your specialty? Any kind. She must, she must be really good. Is this, this your beloved? Your husband? This your husband? Yes. Yes. Uh, a blessed man. Have a wonderful lady like you. And what are some other specialties of cake we know how to bake? Did anybody make coconut cake? Ooh, and a pineapple upside down. Oh, yes. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> Sweet potato cake, I've heard it all. Sweet potato cake? Yeah. I know I the dump cake. cake. Okay, we'll talk about that. Like, that's good. And I'm amazed. And my mother always made a coconut cake for me. I'm the baby girl. Every, my birthday, almost every year of my birthday, that she would see on this earth, did she wasn't able. God is good. And remembering her, I just go to the store and buy one. Because Miss Rose can't really cook. So, <laughs> my, hallelujah. Miss Atkins, she knows that Rose is really, I can do a lot of other things well, but the cooking thing is one of those, you know, it's all good. But my short message to you today, from the book of Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, verse 20, because I was given this task to be one of the speakers for the scripture cake for about 10 minutes on yesterday, and I said, let me replay this message today. From the King James Version, Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, and verse 20. To what purpose cometh there to meet incense from Sheba, meaning a place in Arabia, and the sweet cane from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. If we read that verse, Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, verse 20, from the Amplified Bible, it says and reads, For what purpose does frankincense come to me from Sheba, meaning that place of Arabia, and the sweet cane, meaning sugar, from a distant land? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, and your sacrifices are not sweet and pleasing to me. Did you find the scripture, darling? And you have a King James? Yes. That's fine. And when you go back and study the commentary, what, and I tell people to read in this entirety the whole scripture in chapter 6 of Jeremiah and go before that, it's always for your understanding. If, now listen, the Lord told me to tell you today, don't put in the sugar if you're holding on to sin. Watch out now. Don't put in, and we say, y'all say sugar. We say sugar, I like to say sugar, which is probably spelled S-U-G-A-H, if you're holding on to sin. Now, do you need to put sugar in a cake? Yes. Generally, yes. Some people have put in applesauce to sweeten and sugar substitutes and whatnot. But the gist of this story is we go back into Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, from the New Living Translation, which I is a great version, in verse 16, 17, and then back to 20. This is the NLT. This is what the Lord says. Stop at the crossroads right where you are and look around. Ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel this path and you will find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that's not the road we want. I posted watchmen over you who said, listen for the sound of the alarm. But you reply, no, we won't pay attention. And then in verse 20, so the Lord says, there is no use offering me sweet frankincense from Sheba. Keep your fragrant calamus or sugar imported from distant land. And again, I ask you, and listen, don't put in the sugar if you're holding on to the sin. Hold your sugar, then keep it to yourself. From my expository and from uh, the different commentaries, such as uh, 
Dr. Gill and Dr. Jameson Fawcett Brown and Matthew Henry and those wonderful theologians from the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Read it for yourself. It says, the offering of this was of no esteem with God when the words of the prophet and the law of the mouth were despised. In Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, it said, when they brought these, you know, you're trying to bless the Lord and give, a, and give a sacrifice, he said, you brought it with a hypocritical heart. And these offerings were given with a wicked mouth and without, listen, without faith in Christ. What did God say in his word? I believe it's in Hebrews, without faith is what? Impossible to please God. Without faith, who has any kind of faith today? Who has a mustard seed of faith? Somebody please tell me you got a mustard seed. Mustard seed is very tiny, isn't it? You can hardly see it. From the Matthew Henry commentary, it said, God rejects their outward services, those who are given these sacrifices, because they know they will see a holy known to sin. Holy had a, a, a bad heart about things and it's worthless to atone for your sins by giving a sacrifice because it, it, it's directed them to a mediator but when offered to a, a purchase a license they're thinking they got a license to sin let's just provoke God don't put in that sugar if you're holding on to sin you know when we're told to give our tithes and give our offerings but God said he loves a cheerful giver it, now listen, if you're not going to have any cheer a joy in giving, you might as well keep it. Oh my God, my God, I love it. I got somebody that's giving me an amen and a hallelujah in the corner. I love it. Because we understand that we render unto Caesar what Caesar's and what to, unto God what is God's. We have to pay those taxes. <laughs> a couple things we're going to pass away from this life and we sure have to pay taxes. My goodness. And my father always said, you know, if you, according to the word of God, if you want to eat, you need to work. He said, you need to do a good day's hard work, no matter what kind of work that you do. My mother said, whether you're cleaning the house or sitting in a high top building with a high degree of education, said, do it well. If you clean the floor, do it well. If you tighten up those papers, do it well. But do a good job. And my father would say, don't be lazy. Amen. And I believe that the Lord would want us when we baking that cake. And I'm going to tell y'all, I, I made one really delicious cake in my lifetime at, at this age. Now this I know for true. You know why I made that cake so good? Because I was trying to impress this young man when I was in college. He came for dinner. Sisters and brothers, I made a lovely steak. Because I know he liked that old steak meat. I was mostly eating vegetables, and the lady said, vegetable, she didn't have <laughs> And I made the baked potato and a lovely salad, and I said, I think I'm going to make a, and bake a cake. Now, I've seen my mother and my auntie, Aunt Fanny, and heard about all the other elves and family. I know my mother could bake, and I know Aunt Fanny made the best cakes. I'm from Taylortown, North Carolina, right down the road, originally. And she was one of the best cooks and bakers. Aunt Fanny, Baldwin Eagle in the area. And there are some other wonderful ladies, God rest there, so they could cook and some yet live today. And my mama was one of them. You know that red band flower? Whoever used red band flower? Who knows about red band flower? I have heard of that. Y'all might use different kind of flower, but that was the staple in our house. So I remember when the gentleman was coming to dinner, I said, I'm going to bake that man a cake. And I got the red band flower. My sister always said, I, you, if you can read, and you can read the directions and the instructions, you, you, you can fix it and you can do anything, right? And I read the directions. It said, you know, put a cup of this and a cup of that. And my mother used to, wouldn't always measure. You know, she would put it in her hand and throw it in. I said, Mama, how do you cook? She said, well, you'll learn that one day. What's about a cup in your hand and what's about a spoonful and you do this and all this. And you're going to need, what do you put in the cake generally if you make it homemade? Flour, sugar, eggs. Flour, sugar, eggs. Anything else? Butter. 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 Milk. Milk. <laughs> there you go. Um, that's scratch. Yeah. Make it scratch and if, you, if, if the flour doesn't right, don't you have to put in the, uh, the baking soda or something if it's not that kind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
not if it's not self rising. I think I had that kind of red bed flower, and I just followed the directions. Let me tell you, folks, that <laughs> when that cake got done, that was it tastes almost as good as Aunt Fanny's cake. And you know why that cake was? Because I put all my love into it. Yes. I wanted to impress that young man. Because <laughs> I was hoping and working on getting a husband, you know, down the road, you know, you see. Yeah? And I said, they say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Now, I knew how to sew well and I, you know, read and do all this educational things. But I said, I got to learn how to cook and do the bit. A man likes good food, is that right, sir? You, you want a good hot meal when it's time to come home. My mother used to bake those biscuits for my father because the lady around the corner, Miss Shirley Hedden, used to make biscuits for Mr. Luther, her husband, every morning at about 5 a.m. And when my parents were first married back in the day during the 40s, they tell me that uh, my daddy said, Flossie, that was my mother's name, why aren't you baking some of those good biscuits like Shirley is doing for Luther every morning? I think that's a lovely thing for a wife to do. And my mother precisely said, she said, well, if you'd like to have some biscuits every morning, I think you might as well stop by Shirley's and Luther to get you some of those biscuits. <laughs> and that was the end of that. But every now and then, mother would cook those biscuits and what father liked. And daddy was a good cook, too. Oh, my, my, my. That was one of his jobs as a cook and then many other things that he did to make sure we had a roof over our head and food on the table and clothes on our back. But that cake, if you want to do something for somebody, and Lord knows if you're going to do it for the Lord, mm -hmm. don't put in the sugar if you're holding on to sin. God said, what you do, do it with your whole heart. Do it as unto the Lord, not to please man, not to please yourself. Nobody else but do it unto God. So by final synopsis, when I look at you, when I point to you, can y'all just say sugar? Sarah, say sugar. Everybody, I can't hear. One more time, say sugar. I can't hardly hear y'all. Sugar. There it is. Okay. So, <laughs> when I point to you, say sugar. Now, it's going to be a call and response as we do in the afternoon. Sugar. Okay. So, keep your what? If it's done, knowing the sin is still in your life. Don't add the what? Sure. If you are not adding it with the love of God and love towards all people. Hold back that what? Sure. If you have not turned from your wicked ways. Cook the cake without what? Sure. If you're not real with the creator who gave you the ability, the money, and ingredients to bake that cake. Please know that substitute what? Sure. It won't work either. Might as well keep that too. That sweet and low and all the time that substitute. God wants the pure cane, the right spice, and the sweet savor of flavor for him, God, and God alone. So don't put in the what? Sure. If you're holding on to sin. Now go on and make that cake in Jesus' name. And for Christ's sake, don't forget the sugar. Amen. And thank you so much. We need to show love to everybody. We can be a sourpuss sometimes. You know, we go through heartaches and trials, and we know with sickness and, and loss and whatnot, and somebody might have done something to us, and it's hard to let go, but let go and let God, and just love people. Honey, that honeycomb, and, and God said you can win people over with that sugar, that sweet. Amen. To God be the glory. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, to talk about the sweetness of you, Father God, that you are gracious, you're merciful, your mercies are new every day, and because you love us so much, you gave us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. God, we thank you, God, for your mercy. Please forgive us, Lord, for whatever sin we've committed, sins of commission, omission, what we did, what we should have carried out and didn't do, and God, we forgive those who have sinned against us. Yes. And we want to start this day off and, and continue through the summer and the rest of our life, God, letting go of past hurt and pain. And that we walk in the sweetness of love, in that sugar of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for healing. Bye.
God, we thank you for providing. Yes, Lord, we thank you for delivering. And we thank you, God, hallelujah, for making a way out of no way and saving everybody, known and unknown. Hallelujah, from the highest to the lowest. And all the seven nations, God. Where everybody's preaching today in the prisons, the nursing homes, in the streets, uh, in the pulpit, God, that the word of the Lord will go forth in a mighty, mighty way. Lord, cover everybody here. All the residents here, the families, the staff, the directors, the owners, God, everybody in their place and space. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Every volunteer minister that comes through these halls in every place where there's a nursing home, a rehabilitation center, assisted living, God, for the glory of God. For Christ's sake, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, let the church say, Amen. Amen. And to God be Ah, uh, yes, indeed. And to God be the glory. And, of course, make a correction once again. That was from the book of Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, verse 20. And, of course, originally uh, read from the King James Version and uh, from the... Uh, Amplified, amplified rather Bible as well. I probably mentioned that, and of course from the New uh, Living uh, Testament as well, a great version. And of course the uh, commentary and uh, expository from the various uh, theologians there to add to uh, the ending of my message to the sick and the shut-ins. God bless you so much, and thank you for tuning in for that. You're listening to the Rose Highland Sharp Gospel Show with your lady, your gospel master, blaster for the master, Rose Highland Sharp. And, of course, today, July the 1st, 2018. I'm going to end out our program today, of course, as we're celebrating the 4th of July, celebrating the birth of our nation in the United States of America. And music by the Mississippi Mass Choir, recorded or released in 2002, and America the Beautiful, their rendition of that. Keeping the program a little bit shorter today, as always, and I'm thankful so much for Ty Scott Record Label for sending music, and also uh, to the record company, of course, out of uh, Mississippi as well, continuing to send me music when I was physically as well in a radio station as I'm recording now from the home uh, as I love to do and looking for bigger and greater things later in 2018 and 2019 with websites um, and to possibly be physically back in the radio station I uh, just doing it in a bigger way for to reach more people with what I've been doing now ah my goodness for over 30 years it's been 33 years <laughs> oh yes of my young adult life and now in my early senior citizen years god is so good great big shout out once again to all my classmates my family uh immediate family extended family schoolmates and colleagues co-workers co-laborers for the gospel of jesus christ every church where i have been a part and membership and in giving my time and to the, all the youths and everybody in your place and sp space i love you so much let's pray one for another and as always honey when you feel like you have nothing else left you have the lord and he's all that you need and he will supply your every need amen and to god be the glory check in now mississippi mass choir and america the beautiful happy birthday america God bless. <laughs>